Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be watching, I was going to have the Blu-ray when I did this and show it to you guys, uh, Saving Private Ryan. Uh, this is the 4K Ultra HDR Blu-ray, so that's pretty exciting to watch. And uh, I have never seen the film before, obviously, because I'm doing a first time reaction to it, but uh, I hope I like it because uh, I got the Blu-ray for it, so it would be nice to have it and to keep it. <laughs> this has by far been the most recommended and suggested movie for me to watch on the channel so far, so I thought, you know, why not go for it now that the channel's taken off, I'll give you guys... Uh, the film you wanted to see, give back to the community and all that. So, uh, you know, I thought I would just uh, give this film a go. I know really nothing about it other than that it's about a fictional group of guys. And uh, I don't know if Tom Hanks directed this. Um, starring Tom Hanks, directed by Steven Spielberg. So the guys who teamed up to give us Band of Brothers. And Band of Brothers is an absolute masterpiece so far. Um, finishing the next two episodes tonight, and then I'm going to be done the series. So that's pretty exciting. So thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. And uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Also, the full-length reaction is available on Patreon for the full-length commentary. You will need your own copy to watch along with me, so feel free to check that out if you are so inclined. Also, one more quick thing to cover. Uh, HBO has been really insanely strict on me with the uh, copyright issues. I filed a claim for the first episode of Band of Brothers, and they actually uh, removed the copyright claim. But the second that got removed, they manually hit me with five more copyright claims, which absolutely sucks. So I've disputed all those, but who knows what's going to happen with those. So episode four is currently taken down for Band of Brothers, if you're wondering where that is. So if that's still taken down, I might make the full version available on Patreon for everyone, even if you're not a subscriber, just because I don't want to just have one episode missing or I'll try and upload it some other way for you guys. But um, I've disputed all those, so hopefully episode four will be back up and I'll get the copyright claims removed off that because HBO monetizes them and they get all the money for it. So that kind of sucks. Now that my channel has just hit monetization, all of a sudden all these really strict boundaries have been on me so if the editing is like cropped in close or flipped or something uh please forgive me on that it's really hard to work with uh these production companies on this so i apologize in advance if the editing is different than usual or really cropped in or something but we got to do it so sorry about that guys but um without further ado enjoy is that going to be old veteran hanks up there or something Oh, here we go. I feel like I'm going to cut right to a young face of his on the boats. Oh, I'm all right. I was wrong. I wish I could be using the surround sound for this, but I can't because obviously copyrighted music and stuff plays right through the mic, so... Hmm. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Just instantly. Wow, this looks insane. This looks like a film from nowadays, especially with this HD recoloring and the 4K and all that. Wow, we. Holy, so many incredible sound design opportunities when uh, directing films of this nature. Oh, oh, and the leg just clean off. This looks stunning. I wish you guys could see the quality that I'm working with on this uh, Blu-ray. This is just looks incredible. Oh, boy. And this uh, excellent sound design right now. Oh, fuck. Excellent sound choices. Oh my lord. Oh, that guy just took a few. You don't even notice. They're just guys all over the place getting picked off and you can't even really catch some of it. That man doesn't even have legs. That is... Incredible. Oh god, and the parts just go flying and rain to a guy with no damn leg. Yeah, sorry buddy, we can't really help you here. You got no fucking leg and we just got it. we need the ammo. What is this device? Oh god, I'm shivering. 
Oh, God damn it. Holy smokes, what is that thing? Y'all are gonna have to tell me what that just did. This guy's going in with a bayonet. He's got a little trick up his sleeve. Now, I know this movie is more fictional and takes more, uh, create. Oh! Clever fucking guy. I know this takes more fictional liberties than Band of Brothers because this is a fictional group of guys, but Band of Brothers follows the actual men of Easy Company. So they can get a little more creative with their storytelling here. What a shot. They've somehow managed to make this look less chaotic during the daytime. Because in Band of Brothers, it was just pitch black and terrifying. You couldn't see a damn thing. At least they have some semblance of where they are and where they're going in this. Oh, oh God. Vin Diesel? This guy weirds me out so much. You guys seen Vin Diesel's Facebook page? It's hilarious. I've only seen Vin Diesel in uh, The Pacifier and Guardians of the Galaxy. Nothing else. Man, all those fish that got uh, killed and all the bombs and the shells going off around them. Ryan. Ryan S. Peter Ryan. Brian Cranston. The three men are brothers, sir. Oh. I've just learned that this afternoon their mother's going to be getting all three telegrams. Oh my god. I can't believe they're actually so sensitive about this information. You'd think it'd just be like a passing thing to these guys at this point. If we get some easy company action in this, oh buddy. Little Dick Winters cameo would not be opposed to it one bit. Obviously wouldn't be played by Damian Lewis because I don't think Band of Brothers was developed at this time, but be cool to see him. Oh boy, she saw that vehicle coming from the distance and probably knew right away what that meant. Ah, this poor woman. This poor, poor woman. Oh, what a powerful way to do this scene. Is this whole plot them saving this one man to kind of preserve this mother's heart in a last ditch effort? Obviously, they're saving him because he himself is valuable as a person, but I mean. The boy's alive. We are going to send somebody to find him. Oh. And we are going to get him the hell out of there. Wow. That is incredible. D-Day plus three. Show me some easy company, boys. We're gonna have an entire division stuck at carrot camp with its pants around its ankles. It's a good thing I watched uh, Band of Brothers because I, I'm I'm recognizing and understanding the weight of all these things he's saying, like he said we're gonna have a division stuck at Carrington. Now I actually know what that is. I'd also be curious to react to a documentary such as uh, They Shall Not Grow Old by Peter Jackson. That looks incredible. So you guys let me know what you think about that. What a shot. A lot of extras and background performers here. Did you fire the weapon in basic training? Yes, sir. Well, then get your gear. Yes. All righty. Welcome aboard, buckaroo. Oh my god, way to go. <laughs> I love this guy. I will say this movie looks a lot cleaner than Band of Brothers. Band of Brothers goes for the extra mile to show you the grime and the grit and the holy hell, what a shot. Holy jumping. I was just looking at a photo the other day of what D-Day looked like on the beaches. And that's basically that photo come to life. In fact, I think it's exactly what they're trying to do is use that photo come to life, but holy smokes. Hey, hey once your head blown off, you fancy little f oh. you fuck touch me with those little rat claws again. <laughs> Back and <forth. laughs> Calm down, buddy. Ease up, ease up. Back to 
supposed to be about the bonds of brotherhood that developed between soldiers during war. <laughs> Dude, this really is the precursor to Band of Brothers. <laughs> this guy would definitely be me, writing a book mid-war, trying to be all friendly and buddy-buddy with everyone, just trying to get along, make the best of it, and they're so serious. I shouldn't say they aren't making the best of it, just, just trying to get along is what I mean, trying to be a funny guy and just chit-chat. But they're not keen on chit-chat right now, it looks like. Nothing says World War II like a crackly voice of a German over a speaker system. Is that Easy Company I see? Why wouldn't they just get Easy Company to do this mission instead of this guy's company? I, I don't really know who everyone is, but why wouldn't they just get Easy Company to do this? And plus, he might just walk into Easy Company one day and say, Hey, I reunited with you guys. Is that like Paul Giamatti or something? This is the kind of shot when it's a medium wide where you're going to get sniped in the head at any second. And I wasn't far off. Robin, where's the cabin from? You figure that one out, you got yourself a nice prize. I feel like that's getting reincorporated at the end of the film. He's like, son, you come visit me in Idaho where I live when we get out of this damn war. Or something like that. That baby sound effect is used in a lot of films. I recognize that instantly. Terrible idea. Terrible idea. Oh no, boy! This is a cool concept of passing a child back and forth. Well, you gotta watch out for a snipe coming at you. Parents, why would you think to let your kids step out into a war zone? Why would you think that's a good idea? You guys, come on! Let not my enemies try and pull me. It's a touch cheesy, but I can live with it. He's done. Oh, heck. Oh, God. Hello. What the flip, man? What the flip, man? We got him. I shouldn't say it was cheesy of him to pray before taking the shot because, I mean, I love Dark Tower and... Roland prays every time, well, the whole Gunslinger squad, the whole Cotet prays every time they take a shot with the I kill with my heart. I'm only on book five of Dark Tower, so don't say anything in the comments if you're further. Yeah, so far this definitely has more uh, cinematic elements compared to Band of Brothers, which is fine. Totally fine, because it's fictional. But just an observation, not saying that in a uh, negative way. Just that's something I've noticed. Anytime someone stands out in the open like that in a war film, you know at any second, just like, shh, doo. Oh! Oh, hello! Yeah, I guess you gotta make choices sometimes. They got him? Already? I thought that was gonna be like the climax of the film, or this is some other Ryan. It's gotta be. Taking me. Uh, oh, he's gonna say, "Hey, your three brothers died," and the guy's gonna say, "I don't have any brothers." Oh my God, my brothers are dead. Oh, that's okay. I really thought it wasn't gonna be him. <laughs> it can't be. My brothers are still in grammar school. <laughs> <laughs> Your brothers are fine. This guy's just flabbergastedly confused. <laughs> oh my god. I pretend to be asleep. I knew she just wanted to find out about my day. I don't know why I did that. You can't feel guilty about those things, so you know. Of course, in the future it's all you look back so i should have done this i should have done that but at the time if you didn't want to talk you didn't want to talk and you didn't want to deal with that but of course it's easy hindsight is 2020 as they say my guy just taking it all in
what a transition. Someone educate me on why they couldn't just communicate with all the company leaders and say, hey, if anyone finds this Ryan guy, let him know. Or let us know. Ha <laughs> ha. We just stick it to him, holy. Write this down. James Francis Ryan, question mark, Iowa. Yeah, of course I know him, sir. Does he know where he is? Bumville or some damn place. <laughs> what a performance from this guy. They actually got some leads here. They got some hope that this man's is alive. Is he alive is the question, though, because at the beginning, assuming that was Tom Hanks that we saw, if he arrives at this gravesite and breaks down weeping is that the gravesite of private ryan who lost his life when they got to him or something perhaps we shall see maybe i should go left sir maybe you should shut up Base of fire. <laughs> that was fucking funny man that was a good line wow yikes holy get wrecked Oh, I thought that was just right as they ran out, they were just going to destroy it. Oh, God, and that field's just absolutely done. Using a cow as cover. Interesting tactic. Oh, God, that looks terrible. Whew. Oh, that just will not stop bleeding. Oh, God, look at his face is getting all white. Oh, God. It's crazy, man. You never know what's gonna get you. And these, you, know, you got guys who got whole legs blown off who are fine, but then, oh, one shot to an artery and it's done. Oh God. Sir, you're gonna let them kill him? This is not right. What is happening? Buddy, war is what is happening. really nothing I can say that can add to this scene so I'm just gonna leave it all oh, they are not gonna be happy about this they are not gonna be happy about this tell him march a thousand paces in that direction you gotta be kidding me we'll let go get your gear let's go wow tough decision to make on him there I swear, I hope Mama Ryan's real fucking happy knowing that little Jimmy's life is a little bit more important than two of our guys but then again, we haven't found them yet, have we? Have we? I'm done with this mission. What are you doing, going home? Hey! That's definitely illegal, is it not? Well, they faked this out there. They had him walk to the left, so it looked like he was going to leave, and then he looped up to the hill. Aha! Good work! Good work on the camera department on that one. Oh, and a lovely little silhouette speaking of good work on the camera department. Holy smokes. Wow. Wowza. Oof. Oh, baby, a triple. Easy company at it again. Corporal Henderson, easy company, 501st. Ryan, first to 506. Matt Damon. James Francis, Ryan? Yes, sir. Oh. How'd you guess that? <laughs> funny how that all works out ain't it that was such a good reveal i thought it was gonna be some big dramatic over-the-top heroic music as it's he emerges from some foxhole and it's all boys we got him he goes oh yeah i'm a you know james ryan and he goes wait what that was great that was perfectly well done and then it just pans over to see uh this company go huh can't leave until at least reinforcements you got three minutes this was not a turn i was expecting him to be so reluctant to leave tell her that when you found me i was here and i was with the only brothers that i have left i think she'll understand that wow wow holy smokes what a turn i was not expecting that one bit it's interesting because 
I guess like you know every man has a every mother could lose any son in war but I guess the fact that this woman has four kids they've three out of the four of them have been lost and he's the last male who's able to carry on their family name perhaps as well but it's just like man it's crazy Tom Hanks how are you going to react to this what if by some miracle we stay saving private Ryan was the one decent thing we were able to pull out of this whole god awful shitty mess okay okay <laughs> wow what a climax we've set up this last bridge defense you take a standard issue GI sock, cram it with as much comp B as it can hold. You coat the whole thing with axle grease. Okay. This is good. Now we gotta surrender our socks. <laughs> Better than surrendering your boots, man. That one guy in the um, Arden episode we just watched in Band of Brothers, he had a. Well, I say we just watched. It's not out yet, but um, that man, he had no, he had no shoes. That was crazy. Man, just entire neighborhoods literally like sliced apart these buildings. This is a perfect setup for a climax too. A one man who refuses to leave uh, and his squad needs reinforcements. The other guys need that man to leave and they can be the only people to serve as the reinforcements. Listen to me, all right? Yeah. You listening? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good for this guy. They got Edith Piaf playing in the background. They got a coffee machine going on here. That guy's in the lap of luxury right now. Watch, it's going to zoom out and the whole building's going to be ripped apart. And that's like the one stable corner. This is a lovely little scene. Oh, that's a lovely frame. Holy smokes, that's beautiful. Reminds me of Mrs. Rachel Trubowitz and what she said to me the day I left for basic. What, don't touch me? <laughs> that, is, that is a good joke. And this coloring is beautiful. I can't see my brother's faces. I've been trying. Oof, that's sad. And he's going after Sean. And Sean's saying, what are you trying to hit me for? I just did you a favor. The tears are going to start flowing if he reminisces about this. Good old Matt Damon. Dan went off to basic the next day. That was the last night the four of us were together. The next day, wow. That's incredible. Tell me about your wife and those rose bushes. No. Hmm. No, that one I saved just for me. <laughs> those are the best stories, especially when you have a, a story that's really personal. The more you tell it, the more it kind of slips away from you. Whenever I come back from a big trip or big experience, people always ask me about it. I don't like talking about it because with each telling of the story, it like if it's a close little ball to your heart, with each telling of the story, it gets wider and wider and wider and farther and farther. All right, boys. Oh, that's so creepy in the distance. You can hear the metal and the clanking and the rattling of the machinery coming towards them. Oh, I like this young guy. I don't want him to get picked off. This is quite the setup they've got. Oh, man, they are locked and loaded. They are prepared for this thing. Here we go, man. Come on. I don't know if Ryan's going to make it out of this, man. Because that scene of him crying at the beginning in front of that gravestone. That could mean a lot of things. That subtle echoing is so creepy with it. Oh, boy. Here she comes. They blend in well. They look like just debris on the ground. Answers didn't take the bait. 
Oh. Man. Oh, this one turn in. Shaky cam, even though there's no combat going on. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh my god, what an effect of the ground just loosening around them. <laughs> just like that, they got them. But there's still another tank on the other side of the street. Let's go, let's go. Dude, you can just walk up and plant it, yeah. Oh! That was like some doom science fiction shit. That guy just literally like exploded from within it looks like. Come on, come on, come on. We've seen how devastating it can be if these things don't go as planned. Nice, nice! Holy smokes! I know this guy is fairly new on the job, but he's making some brave decisions, my lord. Molotov time. <laughs> nice. Oh god. Oh here we go. Sniper McGee. Legend added again. Oh god, Ryan, please make out us alive. Oh my god. Frick man. Get your helmet, buddy. That debris is gonna kill ya. Great sound design on those echoes. Oh, damn. Oh, my God. I guess getting shredded by this. Literally shredded apart. Shredded apart. That is... Oh, my God. Heavy weapon or double a below. I, ain't got a shot. I thought he was done for right there. Targets, any block, block. Buddy, duck your head down. Duck your head down. It's cool, but it's just so kind of cheesy. Or maybe this is the film that started that trend, so maybe it wasn't cheesy at the point. Bam! Right through the heart. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's some Kill Bill level. This is like a uh, Inglorious Bastards, Nation's Pride type of shit going on. Oh no. One hit to that tower, he's gone. Yeah, he's done. Yikes. Oh shit, watch out. Oh, that could have been so much worse. Come on, man. I want this guy to make it out. How did he get separated from our boy? I thought he was supposed to be Johnny on the spot. I don't know. I, I don't recall what happened. It was so much... Oh shit! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, oh my god. Come on, light him up, light him up, light him up, buddy. Oh, fudge. Out of ammo and jammed weapon. Probably the right choice. Definitely the right choice. God damn. Oh, shisa. Man's got the Battlefront 2 smart rocket. And he is bang on the money. Couldn't hope for a better shot. Hey! Go, my mans! There's a lot of moving parts to this scene, which I really, really like. 
we've got so many we got multiple objectives going on planting the sticky bombs bringing the ammo to them this guy surviving up there we had the sniper in the tower uh holding off everyone and picking off the appropriate guys at the time there's so many moving parts and we've got the main objective private ryan desperately trying to stay alive here well tom hanks desperately trying to keep him alive should i say oh no he's got him oh no oh my god <laughs> what a tactic oh god Oh man, this guy just sat there and watched, well not watched, but listened, he just stood there in fear. The other guy just says, pardon me sir, I gotta get back to my ranks while you sit here and collect yourself. Man, this guy is just so like, the guy's having a panic attack clearly, but he's just immobilized by fear fear and i can't even blame him for it because in band of brothers uh 103 we, we saw the same thing with blythe where he just could not process his duties and plus this guy said he hadn't even been in combat since basic training he's been sitting here writing maps and uh drafting up plans and letters and stuff Oof. you don't even need to see the limbs go flying you just see that red dust cloud come up with the What a shot and what a sequence that was. Just like a, what a moment, I should say. What a moment. Oof. Oh, it didn't. The tank didn't blow up, but it certainly took a direct hit. I feel like this guy's not making it out alive. Blowing the bridge at this point is like the foolproof option. It's like, what else can you do, right? You can't let that tank get across or else they lose their foothold, like they said. This has been an insane climax. So many moving parts, like I said, so many multiple objectives. This is just great. Just greatly done. <laughs> if they got Private Ryan out of here alive, that would be the greatest miracle of all. Come on, Private Ryan. Come on, do it for your mama. It's very good sound design yet again. You have kind of two options when it comes to scenes like this. Don't let up one bit with the noise to don't to not even break you out of the uh, intensity and just uh, show you exactly like put you in the exact moment, but also go the silence out to show and demonstrate that character's headspace. So those are kind of your two options, but adding dramatic music in any option would be a terrible choice. But this man is right here. Dude, you got a collateral sex couple headshot if you really wanted to right now. A dec decalogian headshot. You gotta do it. You gotta, oh my God. Am I crazy or was that Tom Hanks? Oh, it was Tom Hanks. Oh my God. You gotta blow that bridge, man. Maybe it was Private Ryan at the end and it was Tom Hanks' grave. And he was crying because the sacrifice Tom Hanks made for him. That is a stunning shot. Let's go! Let's go! Holy frick! Medic, 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 medic. Look at those things go. They are fast man <laughs> let's go let's go my mans <laughs> the prisoners the prisoners this man just said that how to get his one off for redemption
But now he's going by the book for the rest of it. And they're using music for the first time in a while, and it's coming at the exact, exact right moment. Just like that, man. It's crazy how it can happen so quick. Just you're getting dominated by the tank, firing rounds everywhere, and then air support comes in, wipe out the tank, boom, and they all just got to go in for cleanup. Just like that. Incredible. Boy, you better get home to your damn mama. <laughs> Wow, I was not expecting that one bit. Wow. Whew. Oh, I've seen that GIF before on Twitter. How have I not connected the dots? Oh my God, how brilliant. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh my god. <laughs> my family is with me today. <laughs> they wanted to come with me. I've earned what all of you have done for me. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Very good. So I've taken some time to collect my thoughts on the film, and overall, I really enjoyed watching it, and I thought it was really, really great. Of course, there are the obvious standouts, such as the cinematography, the sound design, the acting. I, I, there were at points where the, the casting choice kind of threw me for a loop, like Paul Giamatti, and it turns out it wasn't Jason Schwartzman the whole time I thought it was him. It was a guy named Adam Goldberg, who's actually one of my favorite characters on Fargo. I just couldn't connect the dots to that somehow. But um, I really, really enjoyed it. I do think some of the cons, I'm going to talk more about the cons here because the pros are just overstated and overstated so much. Like, we know the movie's great. But uh, some of the cons I felt, as I think at times it felt a little action movie-y, and... Um, it felt a lot more uh, written and scripted, whereas I know it's pointless compared to Band of Brothers because they're trying to do two separate things. This is a movie trying to tell a fictional story that represents kind of uh, heroic deeds in the war, whereas Band of Brothers is like a direct depiction of actual historical events. I still think um, there were times when this movie felt really movie-y and just there were moments that were like that. But they're, they're few and far between, but they were, they were certainly there at least is uh, what I'll say. And actually... Uh, one of my favorite film analysis guys ever, Rob Egger, made a great video uh, where he talks about how this is, he is a, much more harsh on the line. He thinks it's like American propaganda piece. and uh, he. But he did make some edits of the film, exact same identical scenes with music put over them. That kind of shows what they demonstrate, whereas the Germans are treated like nothing more than a shooting gallery for the heroes. And I certainly think that can be seen at times like that. But then again, this film is from the American perspective, so we're not going to spend a bunch of time looking at German soldiers, and um, I guess his complaint was that um, it really demonizes the German characters, and I do agree to some extent, especially with one certain scene, whereas I appreciate what they were doing, whereas I feel the intent was to try and, uh, this is with the Steamboat Willie character, who they have as a prisoner, and they decide to let go. I think the intention was to show how harsh and cruel some guys can be in war, but then later, uh, the translator guy, he's trying to convince them not to kill the guy, and don't do it, don't do it, this guy... He's a prisoner, he's surrendering, we can't kill him. And then they let him go and he joins the German army and ends up killing um, Tom Hanks later on. Oh, I'm going to sneeze one second. <coughs> he ends up killing Tom Hanks later on. And then at the end of the movie, the translator guy uh, ends up killing the guy when he surrenders. So I'm kind of unsure what the message that was supposed to be like. 
did he have an arc of like becoming a manly man because he killed a prisoner and there were some inconsistencies like for example when they had the standoff of like the 10 german guys and the 10 american guys when that wall fell down they were all squaring off with each other but then later in the film when that uh translator writer guy he was just one guy who had a gun pointed at like seven germans who all had guns and they all surrendered to him so that, that was kind of a, an odd inconsistency but uh I, I highly recommend the Rob Egger analysis. I do not agree with it to the fullest extent, but there are some things I certainly agree with, how they really go far to make the Germans seem like um, the cruelest, craziest, um, you know, monsters. And then they kind of... So it's... But then again, I understand. The film isn't from American perspective, but I guess the argument that uh, is to be made is that the, a lot of the German ground forces were just guys in the end, and they were just... Uh, really no different than any soldier on any side so that's kind of the one differentiation i would make but um whereas band of brothers goes really far to make us uh understand and it really humanizes the germans as well because it shows uh everything they go through and does a great balance but um overall the movie was really really great i started off on a bit of a tangent there but i really enjoyed it. the cinematography was great i think um i don't see myself revisiting it for a good while because something whereas Band of Brothers, it's really leaves so much to think about. And Full Metal Jacket's another example where I, 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 I watched Full Metal Jacket like three times in one weekend. Because that movie just has so many different sides and so many different things to think about. Because there's so much going on in that movie. Whereas Saving Private Ryan was pretty straightforward. It It's not going to make me rethink my attitudes towards conflict or anything like that. Or it's not really going to make me, you know... If if the message does leave you with at the end, I guess, if I had to go with anything, was um, it encourages you to live your life to the fullest, to see the sacrifices that soldiers and stuff have made, have made for us. So that's kind of the message of the film, and it really just encourages us to live the best life that we can and remember those who came before us and gave us this life. So it was a strong message. It was a strong film. I really, really enjoyed it. So thank you guys so much for recommending this to me. And uh, also, there is a poll up on Patreon. If you want to become a patron, uh, we have different tier levels. It's only $3 if you want to be one of the voters. Uh, and you can vote on what I watch next, both films and um, TV shows. There's polls on what I'm going to react to next. And there are also other tiers, such as uh, get your name in the credits as well. Or $10 gives you early access to all of my reactions. Um, I've completely finished Band of Brothers. All that's going to be on Patreon weeks in advance. Same with The Boys. That will be up weeks in advance before it comes out on YouTube. So if you're interested in that $10 tier, uh, check it out. And that's the entire commentary for the entire two hours and 40 minute film. So thank you guys so much. And uh, I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge and thank the patrons.